Fractal Design was one of the last manufacturers who refused to create any product with RGB LEDs. However, they finally gave in and did it. And they did such a good job, it puts other manufacturers to shame. This is the Fractal Design Prisma AL12 PWM Triple Fan Pack, and it is available for around 80 US dollars or euros, give or take. And for this price, you get three fans that have the minimalistic look, which is characteristic of Fractal Design, and also other features which we'll get into as the review goes on. Obviously, the main showpiece of these fans is the addressable RGB system, which is integrated into the hub of the fan and is spread across the fan impellers and to the ring placed on the edge of the fan frame. This type of design and system has been used before with other products from other brands, but often it was either done in an excessive manner or had too little to make the fans stand out. The Prisma AL12 PWM are different in this regard. Not only does the RGB look good, but it is also done with a bit of taste, as the colors are vibrant while the lighting is not exactly overpowering or too dim. The fan included in this pack have the standard dimensions for any 120mm fans, with a thickness of just 25mm. A feature that we start to see more and more with good fans is the smaller gap between the tip of the impeller and the inner side of the fan frame. This small gap means that the fan will have less airflow and static pressure leakage when operating, especially in tight spaces such as radiators or heat sinks. This gap is also a statement for the build quality of the fan, as a poorly made fan will not be able to have a small gap without the impellers touching the fan frame. Before we get into the fans even more, let's see what is delivered with this triple fan pack from Fractal Design. And you'd be surprised because under this lovely packaging which holds three 120mm fans and also offers a decent amount of protection, we find almost nothing. The accessories are just three bags of screws, case screws to be specific, one set for each of the three fans. This is rather disappointing as this fan pack is not exactly on the cheap side of the market. Now, I am not saying that Fractal Design should have included an addressable RGB controller in the package even though some other manufacturers do that, but at least a couple of radiator screws would have been nice to see, especially since these fans are advertised as an all-purpose fan, either a case fan or a heatsink fan, so longer screws should have been included. The Prisma AL12 PWM has a total of 7 impellers for delivering their performance. These impellers have a wider standard design and are good for both airflow and static pressure. I say this because while the blades are wide, there is still enough space in between them. This is why these fans are advertised as both good for heatsink radiators and as case fans, as they get enough airflow and static pressure going on thanks to this impeller design. The fan uses what Fractal Design calls an LLS bearing system, and apparently the LLS bearing is short for bearing housing with high torque three-lipped seals. How good this is, we shall see, however, this bearing system has been used before by Fractal Design with their GP series of fans, and those are not really known for failing, so we should be good here. In addition, the advertised lifespan of these fans is around 100,000 hours of continuous work. The corners of the fan are using rubber pads on both sides to not only prevent any vibrations from being passed into the structure of your case, but also because it prevents scratches on heat sinks and provides a good and stable base for the fan to sit on and make the contact between surfaces. While it doesn't look and sound like much, rubber pads are great when installing a fan on a case or especially when you are attaching a fan to a metallic heat sink. However, just like any other rubber pad, these two are a dust and fiber magnet and require constant cleaning before the installation in your system and even then. The connectors of the fan are simple. Each fan has two RGB connectors, one that connects to the motherboard or a controller and the other one that passes on the RGB signal. This means that the Prisma AL12 PWM can be daisy chained for the RGB side of the system, which is really good especially since most motherboards do not have a large number of RGB headers. In fact, most only have one. The second connector is the standard 4-pin power connector, which is also PWM compatible and makes the fan controllable to the software of your motherboard. In addition, the cable is plenty long and fortunately it is covered by black high-quality sleeving, which is flexible for the most part. Before we get into the performance of the fan, here is a noise sample of the fan going from 0 RPM to its minimum idle speed of 500 RPM and then 
all the way to its maximum speed of 2000 RPM. As is the case with all of my reviews, I am doing this to provide you with a general idea of how the fan sounds like when spinning. While the decibel value is a good metric to have, it will not pick up the unfortunate sounds that might occur with fans, such as vibrations or bearing noises. With the fan spinning at its maximum speed of 2000 RPM, it reached a maximum decibel value of 42 decibels, measured at a distance of 10 cm away from the system. This places the Fractal Design Prisma AL 12 PWM next to fans such as the Noise Blocker Elup B14 PS or the sized Kaze Flex RGB. Not bad, considering that the maximum speed of these fans is 2000 RPM. Also, speaking of that noise sample again, notice how the noise when spinning up and down the fan is smooth and has no imperfections. And of course by that I am talking about bearing noises, which are the worst, but not as bad as those high pitched noises some fans have. In this regard, the Prisma has done great. The performance testing is pretty straightforward. The used CPU is the Intel i9-9900K running at 5GHz on all cores which is being cooled by a Cooler Master Master Liquid 240 CPU cooler. The fans are placed on a radiator and the temperature is measured at the CPU side. The ambient temperature is fixed at 20 degrees Celsius for all fan thermal testing. And in this test, the Prisma AL12PWM reached a maximum temperature of 72 degrees Celsius, which makes the Prisma a good fan for radiator usage, as it is at the same or around the same level as models such as the Be Quiet Silent Wings 3 or the Noctua NF F12 PWM. The Fractal Design Prisma AL12 PWM is a good all-purpose fan that has as its main objective to not only perform but also to look good while doing so. The design of these fans is really good, mostly because it is simple, it has white impellers and a white ring on the outside with an all-black fan frame and black rubber pads. The design is in fact a bit understated, that is, until the RGB system kicks into life and the true nature of these fans is revealed. The addressable RGB system is good and done with taste, the colors are vibrant and the light intensity is just right as it does not overpower the rest of the LEDs in the system, it just works. The performance of this fan is good, however I expected more and for a lower noise overall. I am saying this because these fans are the same fans that the new Fractal Design liquid coolers are using from the factory. It is not bad by any means but it should and could have been better and also quieter. There are only two inconveniences with this triple fan pack. First of all, the price is on the high side, even for a fan pack that offers three fans. And second, the accessory department is truly lacking. I understand that including an addressable controller might have increased the price even more, but some long screws for editor usage should have definitely been included. However, there are some good things to be had with these fans. First of all, they might be loud at maximum RPM, but the sound signature is certainly good. I mean, you only really hear the noise of the air being pushed at the back of the fan and nothing else. Also, the connectivity is good and the possibility of passing through the RGB signal from one fan to the other is a great thing to have, not only because most motherboards have only one or two RGB headers, but also because there are already enough cables inside your system, with the fans having two cables each. Also using a splitter for the RGB signal on three fans is a bit on the excessive side of things. Another thing to note about this RGB system is that it is completely standalone. While other manufacturers decided for whatever reason that they want to develop and use their own software for the RGB fans, Fractal Design relies on the motherboard's software to control the light and patterns of these RGB fans. And the Prisma is compatible with all motherboard RGB control systems, including the Gigabyte RGB Fusion Ready, the ASUS Aura Sync, the MSI Mystic Light Sync and the ASRock Polychrome Sync system. This might look like a small thing, but once you deal with some unresponsive software that is made just for a set of fans which also uses half a gigabyte of RAM, you will start to appreciate a simple system that will use software which is already installed in your system. 
If you liked this review, then perhaps you can consider subscribing for more. And also, if you want to support the channel directly, then in the description below you can find the Patreon and Subscriber Star pages of this channel.